Thanks for tuning in. Today I am going to show you a few different ways for uh, how to make a DIY dog diaper. Of course they sell diapers for dogs that you can get in any pet store, but uh, if you want to make your own, you can do so in a number of ways. So one way is to just take a standard baby diaper, uh, find a size that fits your dog, which is really easy to do because baby diapers have a weight guideline on the package. So just if you know your dog's weight, say your dog weighs 15 pounds, uh, buy the, the size corresponding with 15 pounds um, for the diaper. And all you need to do is measure on the back. So you're gonna put the diaper around your dog and place your finger wherever his tail might be. And then you're just going to use a pair of scissors to snip a hole in the diaper, cut around and uh, make a homemade dog diaper using baby diapers. Now I know if you don't wanna buy dog diapers, you're probably not gonna be interested in buying baby diapers either, but it is uh, one easy DIY option. The other thing you can do is use a pair of children's underwear. Now I like to use boys uh, boxer briefs and the reason for that is because they are um, have a little bit more material to go down the legs a little bit further than the standard brief style. Um, same thing, you're just gonna slide the underpants onto your dog um, wherever his tail lines up. You're just going to mark that with your finger, cut a little hole so that his tail can come through. Um, and then using a sanitary pad, um, you will just stick that in the underwear, uh, inside of the underwear before you put it on your dog and that will help to soak up uh, urine or uh, blood if your dog's in heat and that's what you're trying to do. So you just place it in there um, and then with the tail hole cut, your dog can wear these um, and they're very comfortable for him. A another thing that you can do uh, is to use a pee pad. If your dog has accidents, that's why you need a diaper. You probably have pee pads right around your house as well. Um, you, I'm gonna just, quickly use the baby diaper that I have as a template. Uh, but if you don't have a baby diaper kicking around, it's kind of that hourglass shape um, and that's how you're going to cut your pee pad. So uh, you could just simply draw an hourglass shape on here. You're gonna draw kind of up one side and then up the other um, and cut it out. I'm just going to make the cut. Um, I've done this numerous times, so uh, I'm not even gonna mark it. Here is my hourglass shape uh, cut out of the pee pad. Now, you wanna make sure that this is going to fit your dog. So before you do your cutting, um, obviously if you have a diaper that fits your dog, it's gonna be really easy to do because you'll have a template, but uh, beforehand you can measure your dog and measure from his belly uh, where you want the diaper to sit underneath all the way up around his tail and onto his back where uh, the top of the diaper would fit. And uh, then you'll have the appropriate length. With the hourglass shape, you leave these little flaps on either side. You can wrap this around your dog and just duct tape it. Um, or if you wanna get really fancy, you could use Velcro or safety pins. Um, some people use those. I don't use safety pins with my dogs because I'm always where they're going to come loose and poke my pet. So. Uh, you can also do the same thing, make the same hourglass shape with some cloth material. Um, the only warning that I give for using cloth is that cloth is not made to be absorbent. Pee pads, uh, diapers, sanitary pads, if you choose to use those in a pair of uh, underpants, those are all made to absorb a large amount of liquid, so it's going to hold in the urine. Now you can make reusable, washable dog diapers. It's gonna be similar to reusable diapers for children. Uh, you just cut the cloth, excuse me, you cut the cloth uh, in the hourglass shape and then um, you can secure it again with Velcro, safety pins, uh, you can do it however you like as far as uh, securing it if you wanna use duct tape, but but it's not going to absorb and hold in the liquid. It's going to leak. So uh, your dog, there's this chance your dog could still make a mess. 